Hello class, I am Happy Narang, your subject teacher of environmental science. Today's topic is air pollution. So let's start. First, we should understand what is pollution. Pollution is change in background concentration. Any substance in introduced into the environment that adversely affects the usefulness of a resource. Pollution happens because no process is 100% efficient. Each process produces pollution. Here comes air pollution. Air pollution defined as the one or more contaminants or combinations in such quantities and of such durations as may be or tend to be injurious to human, animal or plant life or property or which unreasonably interferes with the comfortable enjoyment of life or property or conduct of business. This figure shows the atmosphere as you can observe by it. Source and classification natural man-made or anthropogenic natural pollen grains volcanic eruptions forest fires dust storms spores bacteria and other microorganisms man-made industrial units thermal power plants automobile exhaust fossil fuel burning mining nuclear explosions source and classification stationary mobile point source large stationary source area source small stationary source and mobile source with indefinite routes line source mobile source with definite routes 2005 air toxic emissions from on road mobile sources tox weighted Heavy duty gasoline vehicle 14%, heavy duty diesel vehicle 10%, other gas 2%, light duty gasoline truck SUV minivan 44%, light duty gasoline car 30% as tried to show in this figure. Air pollutants substance dwelling temporarily or permanently in the air alters the environment by interfering with the health the comfort or the food chain or by interfering with the property values of people a pollutant can be solid that is large or sub molecular liquid or gas it may originate from a natural or anthropogenic source or both it is estimated that Anthropogenic sources have changed the composition of global air by less than 0.01%. Even a small change can have a significant adverse effect on the climate, ecosystem and species on the planet. Here comes the classification of pollutants. Pollutants can be grouped into two categories that are primary and secondary pollutants. So first we'll talk about the primary pollutants which are emitted directly from identifiable source and secondary pollutants are which are produced in the atmosphere when certain chemical reactions take place among primary pollutants. The major primary pollutants include particulate matter, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, volatile organic compounds, carbon monoxide and lead. This figure shows the primary pollutants you can observe by this figure. Sources of primary pollutants are shown in this figure. Secondary pollutants is some primary air pollutants react with one another 
or with other chemicals to form secondary pollutants as shown in this figure atmospheric sulfuric acid is one example of a secondary pollutant air pollution in urban and industrial areas is often called smog photochemical smog a noxious mixture of gases and particles is produced when a strong sunlight triggers photochemical reactions in the atmosphere the major component of photochemical smog is ozone major pollutant sources and effects carbon monoxide co colorless odorless tasteless gas no effect at normal but higher concentration seriously affect volcanoes natural gas emission seed germination contribute to co transport sector contribute 75% co residential wood burning 10% industrial process 15% co co represents carbon monoxide and it is very dangerous residential wood burning 10.6% other sources 0.2% aluminum smelters 9.1% pulp and paper 2% other industries 2.4% transportation 75.7% as shown in this figure here comes effects reduce oxygen carrying capacity of blood decrease in vision and causes cardiovascular disorders carbon dioxide fossil fuel combustion jet plane use o2 and releases co2 burning effects causes headache and nausea effect on climate increase global temperature oxides of nitrogen nox group contains no no2 and 2o fuel combustion in automobiles and industries lightning forest fires natural ionizing radiations effects reduce blood carrying capacity causes lung problems other sources 5.1% cement plants 1.5% pulp and paper 3.6% other industries 5.2% transportation 84.6% anox as shown in the figure oxides of sulfur generally called sox include so2 so3 67% sox pollution due to volcanic activities and other natural sources remaining due to fossil fuel burning transportation industrial activities effects are respiratory problems marbles clothes paper leather also affected and plants also heavily affected transportation 7.6% other sources 4.1% pulp and paper 7.3% petroleum 5.2% aluminum smelters 13.6% other industries 13.9% non ferrous metals 48.3% so2 as shown in the figure hydrocarbons at sea these include methane ethylene acetylene terpenes etc sources include coal fields natural fires incomplete combustion forest fires agricultural burning effects are carcinogenic effect from ozone and pan which are harmful damaged plants rubber materials fabric and plants light injury moderate injury have injury and damage milkweed leaves as shown in the figure now comes particulate materials particles of different substances suspended in the air in the form of solid particles and liquid droplets particles vary widely in size different particulate materials are aerosols dust smog fumes mist fog fly ash etc fine particles come from a variety of sources diesel trucks and buses construction equipment power plants wood stoves 
वाइल्ड फायर्स आल्सो केमिकल रिएक्शंस इन द एटमोसफेयर कैन ट्रांसफॉर्म गैसेस इनटू द फाइन पार्टिकल्स एज शोन इन द फिगर हेयर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ स्मॉल इज पी एम इमेजिन स्टैंड ऑफ ह्यूमन हेयर हेयर क्रॉस सेक्शन as shown in the figure you can observe by this effects are premature death aggravated asthma acute respiratory symptoms chronic bronchitis decreased lung function shortness of breath people with existing heart and lung disease as well as the elderly and children are particularly at risk effects of air pollution on human are shown in the figure around 30 to 40% of cases of asthma and 20 to 30% of all respiratory disease affect our health in many ways with both short term and long term effect short term effect are irritation to nose eye throat bronchitis headache etc long term effect are lung disease chronic respiratory problem damage to heart brain eyes etc eye irritation due to nox o3 pen particulates nose and throat due to so2 nox etc gaseous pollutants like h2s so2 no2 and hydrocarbons cause odor nuisance irritation of respiration tract caused by sox nox coo3 increase in mortality high concentration of so2 no2 and spm causes bronchitis and asthma co and no react with hemoglobin and reduce o2 carrying capacity of blood heavy metals like lead can cause poisoning high concentration cause damage to liver and kidney now comes factors affecting human health are nature of the pollutants concentration of the pollutants duration of exposure state of health of receptor age group of the receptor thank you stay home stay safe